Let's learn some SAT math in 60 seconds. Okay, so we're asked which of the following is equivalent to the expression above. We look at the expression above and there's a lot going on, so let's rewrite it. x squared y minus 3y squared plus 5xy squared. In the second term, there's a minus in front of parentheses, so we have to distribute that negative to all three terms. That gives us positive x squared y minus 3xy squared plus 3y squared. Now we're gonna look for like terms. We notice there's an x squared wide here and here. There's no coefficient written, which means there's an implied coefficient of one in front of each of these. Since we have one x squared y here and here, there are two x squared y's. Now let's look at our next term, y squared. We have one here and here. There's a negative three y squared here and a positive three y squared here. So when we add them together, we get zero y squareds. Lastly, we have x y squared. There's a five x y squared and a negative three x y squared. Together, that makes two x y squared. So our final answer is two x squared y plus two x y squared. Subscribe and follow for more radiant math tips.